going to show you a new draw tool in the drawing feature. We could go into the presenter and uh, open up one right there. I want to start by showing you how you can organize your uh, presentations. So we'll open it a little bit different way. So we'll go through the analyzer. We'll open up uh, right here, presentations. So you can open all of these presentations straight from the presenter, but here you can also organize them in folders. You can uh, with colors and you can also create templates here. So let's say here I have a template presentation. Maybe you put a slide that you always wanted to start with or taken away the audio, you know, turned off the audio or something like that. So you can make one presentation and have it as a template. So I've done so here. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this one. And here I have my copy. So I'll just do a tutorial link circles, which is the feature I'm going to show you. And you can also open up presentations from here. So here's my presentation. Uh, I want to show you, so I'm going to find the right spot. Uh, I hold down command, that would be control on Windows to, and use the arrow keys to find the exact spot. And here I want to make a drawing. And this is the new tool, uh, Linked Circles. It has the keyboard shortcut N. And uh, it's simply like this. So, and then I double click to end it. There are other ways to end it. So basically, when you start drawing it, you can do as usual by dragging. But in, with this tool, it's simply better just to click. You can just click. So left click, left click, and double click to end. Now, if you don't, there are other ways to end it. So let's say you didn't double click or it failed. You have an extra one. So now I can either right click or press escape key on the keyboard to cancel this one. Right, so notice now that when I change this uh, circle here, if I now create uh, another one, it remembers the settings for the last circle that you, you changed manually. So uh, you can kind of fix it and then it's going to be that way. So for example, for these, I, I like it more with a little bit slanted here. So I'm just going to press E for eraser, click on this, click N for linked circles. And now you notice when I'm clicking these, it's, uh, it has a better slant for it. If you look at the settings here, now you have uh, you can have a dotted line. Uh, you have shadow here. Uh, you have uh, perspective. So there's a slight perspective uh, that gives a little depth to it. Now you would notice it more. Let's say when would you take this off? Uh, well, for example, if you uh, if you're doing some overhead drawing. Now you see this one is a little bit thicker than this side. So for an overhead circle, you would want to take that off. Otherwise, it's, it's better to have this one. Notice also when I just double clicked on the, uh, on the background here, uh, it just creates this circle. And again, it's, it's remembering because I changed it. So if I go back here and just tweak a little bit, now, if I'm uh, double clicking, I, I get this slanted one. Uh, let's undo this. Command Z. Okay. You have the line width here. And you can wide. Or you will select the one you want. And then we have two different kinds of animations. The default one is animating the circles one by one. So I'll just press play here and you, you will see how that works. Uh, the other one is to fade them all in at once. So that looks like this. Well, we only had the setting for this one. You can save all of these settings with presets. So let's say we have one here. Make this one red. And one by one and so on. With a dashed line. I can save this as a preset. So let's put it in slot one. So you could load it here with the key one. So how would you do that? Uh, you would press N. 
I want to select the, the yellow one here just to, okay. So let's say I press N1 on the keyboard and you see I have the one I want here. You can decide to have an animate out or in here and you can change, change the settings by dragging on it. You can change the defaults by going to actions and settings. You see you have linked circles right here. It has a default one second animate in. And you can then turn on the animate out too if you want to. And of course, when you're doing these things, it's uh, I'm pretty sure you will want to, to use the, uh, the clipping. Now we changed the clipping. So now the smart clipping, which has gotten quite fast, is by default. So I could just go here and Take all of these right here and uh, yeah then you see that uh, becomes much nicer now let's look again here oh I forgot oh, I didn't get this one very well let's try it again yeah that's better otherwise you would go to the manual one and of course if you're offline uh, this smart clipping needs an online uh, connection if you're offline you just use the manual Oh, that's pretty much it. So let's just uh, save this one. So it's right here. You can, uh, you can play it, of course, uh, in your presentation. And, and you can share it to your players or coaches, or you can export it outside of XPS. Thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.